Wow. I don't know if this dog's gonna come see us. He's kind of just minding his own business. Nobody's yelling at him, so he must uh, be relatively friendly. He's taking a poop. Let's turn away. Give him some privacy. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, everybody. It's your hometown angler here. So I'm trying a brand new spot today. Um, right back here. Hopefully you guys can see that. We have the dam. So I'm going to see what I can do uh, this year. 2021 fishing season in Wisconsin we can now target bass all year round uh, even during the closed season for catch and release see what I can do to get on the bass and maybe some sucker fish and I'm just gonna run a small bait holder hook like this and I'm just gonna throw it out here with some crawlers and I'll just kind of let it sit and then I'll bring it back in let it sit bring it back in and I'll see what I can do. Hopefully uh, we'll get on some bass and maybe some suckers in here. Because I know that there's a lot of them. Um, I hear a lot about this spot. This will be my first time fishing it. I have my 7 foot medium action Berkley lightning rod. And then I have a size 30 Fluger President on here. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll get on some fish. Let's... Get our first cast in with the crawler. First cast of the season. Been ice fishing a lot, so hopefully uh, we get some results here, and if not, then we'll just have a fun video either way, so. I'm using a Bionic walleye line. It's kind of all I had. I don't especially like it that much, um, it seems to have a lot of memory and it kind of wraps up so like I said I'll just kind of pull it back jig it a little bit and leave it and we'll see if we got any action right off the bat we got a snag and it let loose nice but I think I lost my hook Nope, we didn't lose the hook, but we did lose the bait. So let's uh, put another that other half of the crawler on there. I don't think that was a fish because if it was a fish, I definitely set the hook into it pretty good. So and I casted it basically the same spot. Hopefully, we just don't hit the same snag all over again. If we do, though, you know how it goes fishing here at Hometown Angler. <sighs> With river fishing, it's really hard to tell if you got action or not because you feel all the rocks and you know the sticks and everything that are down there. Just hit another snag, unbelievable. And we lost that crawler again. I might throw another sinker on there just to be able to get out a little further. But being in this river and being that I'm already getting so snagged. I don't know if that's a good idea.
there's branch or debris or something down there. I'm actually kind of surprised that no one's tried to go down there and get that out of there. So many people that fish here. I might uh, maybe, if we're gonna continue to fish here, I might uh, just go down there and get that myself later on. Not today or anything. But that time we did lose it, so let's retie and um, keep throwing it back at that spot. No, I'm just kidding. I think actually I'm gonna move over here, otherwise I might uh, go onto that point and try to fish out there because right here where the f there's actually fast moving water and it's deep, there's debris down there and uh, yeah, every single time I cast so I get snagged. So let's keep going, get retied. So the crawler I just ripped in half we're gonna call him Half-Ass Fred. He's really trying to escape there. Check him out. Fred, I'm sorry, but you gotta go back in. Sorry, big guy. So, this is uh, another segment of hometown anglers. Excellent decision making. We have this ice shelf here, and I'm just gonna climb right on top of it. to try to get out here into this fast moving water, which I assume is probably a little bit deeper. And if I die, then hopefully my mom will be able to see this video. But all right, this doesn't look too bad. We got half-assed Fred threaded onto the hook there. And let's toss him out, see if he's gonna attract any of those sucker fish. Hey, there's a like a Rottweiler or a Doberman coming to see us. And Fred just flew over there right off the hook. So we're gonna have to get his buddy. Actually, most of them stayed on there. He just kind of, like, the momentum ripped him in half or something. So we'll just keep him. I don't know if this dog's gonna come see us. He's kind of just minding his own business. Nobody's yelling at him, so he must uh, be relatively friendly. He's taking a poop. Let's turn away, give him some privacy. Here on Hometown Angler, we don't uh, shun the dogs away. We like to pet dogs and whatnot. <laughs> if anybody wants to get a hold of me, and uh, show me how to get underneath. Oh, I think I just had a bite. No, I'm snagged again on a rock. And we've broke off, so let's tie up again. All right, so I doubled the sinkers to try to get out there further. That definitely works. Um, hopefully it doesn't just increase my snags. This spot has a ton of rocks in it. So probably like a river rocker is what I should be using here, but um, probably just gonna keep um, breaking off and retying. So that's how we do it. And I don't know, I might have a fish actually. Nope. I think I was getting a bite though. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I think something was definitely biting. Let's throw this back out here and see if that happens again. Maybe the distance helped us. Yeah, got some good distance on that. Then again, honestly, that might have just been more rocks that I was feeling. I don't know. It did, uh, the line did jerk a couple times though. Back here in this little kind of cove sitting area thing here. And let's try in this really fast moving water that I have going on over here. Coming right off from the dam over there. snagged already 
It's amazing how many snags are down there, it really is. Oh, we still got the worm. Between the rocks and just the sticks and everything, it's just nothing but snags, so a new technique. I'm gonna reel it in. <laughs> nice and easy, I'd say like a medium retrieve. Just try to keep it off the bottom. Okay, so I found access to get underneath this spillway here and I'm thinking it's gonna be my best bet to catch something. So, this area, by reading the sign here, we're okay to fish. says, provided for your enjoyment, we rely on self-policing to maintain a clean area. So that's fine by me. That's what I believe in too. So this is really very interesting to me. Let's uh, throw a crawler out here and let it sit and see if we get any bites in this fast, deep water. Try a little bit up above the dam too. Why not? Just kind of trying along this ledge here first where there's a little bit of slack water. Not much luck. So try out towards the middle a little bit more. You can tell I've been ice fishing. So, thanks again for watching this video, you guys. I wasn't able to get any fish, but I did discover my very own spillway. So, now we have a spillway to fish on this channel. And I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, liked some of the spots that I was able to find on this trip. And hopefully you will like, comment, subscribe. As always, thanks for stopping.